vlog number 15, autopilot landing, take two. I sent back the other cable that I bought and got this replacement so I can connect it right into the go. Traffic clock to Delta Zulu, signal off runway 28, straight out to 4, 3500, 100 to the left turn refinery, scoop mic, clock to Charlie, Delta Zulu. Bit of a crosswind, so we're gonna have to put the ailerons into the wind once awesome. we get some speed. Super fuel efficient, and it's no wing strut on this plane. And for aerial photography, it's pretty awesome. Not too many airplanes like this, especially this size of airplane. You can get some larger ones with no wing struts, but nothing like this. Uh, and the big windows you can see, there's just such incredible visibility in this plane. You got windows on the sides, up above. I use that one when I'm doing steep turns. I can look out, and see around, see if there's any airplanes. Got a big window there. And forward visibility is pretty awesome as well. Then you got this avionics you can put in here. Um, you can put whatever you want, but I got two 10-inch Dynan touch screens. You can use them as displays. So I, I use this one as a display for my um, infrared, as well as a taxi camera on there. So pretty handy stuff. Uh, it's got full autopilot. Uh, I use autopilot on a daily basis. It just takes the workload off the pilot. Um, up here you can see the red handle. That's where the parachute lever is, and that's what you pull in case of an emergency. It's kind of a one-shot deal. It, it'll wreck the plane after, but it'll save your life. It shoots a rocket up. It pulls with the parachute. With the, the whole airplane comes down on the parachute. So it's a pretty cool system. Up here you've got your air brake lever. You, this is pretty much a must on this plane because it has such good glide ratio. It'll take you forever to land to put this plane down just because it glides so well. The glide ratio is about 15 to 1. And comparing to a Cessna 150, the 150 is uh, 8 to 1. Down here I've got my throttle and my prop. It's a hydraulic constant speed propeller. You can adjust the RPM with that as well. Right now we're coming to Cook Lake Airport and I'm going to do an autopilot land. Seven miles from the airport, I'll drop down 35 feet. Leaving altitude. Can we traffic to the drove here? Fox Rally Delta Zulu is five miles to the north. 3,500 feet inbound to the airport. Planning to cross overhead, join down for uh, runway 28. Conflicting Lake Fox Rally Delta Zulu. Autopilot mode. Sounds like there's no other traffic at the airport right now. This is perfect time to try out vertical navigation and landing on the autopilot. And Cooking Lake traffic. Hotel Sierra Tango is downwind left 28 full stop. Cooking Lake. Cooking Lake. Okay, never mind. I guess there's one other airplane, but I'll be behind him. Cooking Lake traffic. Fox Charlie Delta Zoo is overhead the field. And we uh, be crossing overhead and joining down for 28. Cooking Lake Fox Charlie Delta Zoo at number two. Well, it's telling me to extend the last leg here. You can see on the map screen. 
Yeah, Cooking Lake Traffic Hotel Sierra Tango is turning final 28, full stop, Cooking Lake. Cooking Lake, Fox Charlie Delta Zulu is downwind, 28. Full stop, Cooking Lake, Fox Charlie Delta Zulu. I'm going to slow down below 100 knots so I can put my flaps up to zero. It's at negative 5 degrees right now. And there's 100 knots. Autopilot mode. Alright, so I think it's gonna bring me in here now. Autopilot, airspeed low. Autopilot, airspeed low. Well, Autopilot, definitely bringing me airspeed right low. into the runway. Slow down, still pops low. on. Autopilot mode. Autopilot. Delta take control. I did a pretty good job. It seemed like it was coming in a little bit low, but you wouldn't really fly at that low anyways on autopilot. That was pretty neat. Once I was on the final leg for runway 28, I could hit the autopilot button, did the vertical navigation right down to the runway. It could definitely be a lifesaver. This plane isn't equipped with IFR equipment, um, so this is uh, definitely a nice backup in case anything ever happens. I have to get down through the cloud or through fog and I can't go anywhere else. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the flight. See you later.